Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky everybody, this is Elon Paul and we're going to be doing a nanite farming run today. You may have seen in a recent video I did that I was showing folks where my uh, nanite farm was and I have it over here, it's my regular EP nanite sentinel farm, but you'll notice, notice of course it's in the Isentum galaxy. I have a second one set up on the same planet. Its whole purpose is to be in a protected area from the elements of the planet itself. So as you know there's some of those ancient structures that are submerged in the ground that are um, the ones that you dig through and look for the treasure, buried treasure caches and stuff like that. But you'll notice that anytime you're within the circular area of that buried um, ancient realm uh, you are protected from the elements of the planet so when storms arise you're not affected by them so it makes it a little bit easier to do your fights and stuff like that while you're there but in that run that I did um, that I showed the coordinates at I played for 15 minutes and noticed that I'm getting a lot more nanites than I thought I was so we're gonna go to my farm that's nearby there and we're gonna do a little bit of a battle with these sentinels for a little bit and see what kind of see what kind of stuff we can get out of them. I want to see how many nanites we're really producing at this point. I'm using one of my newest multi-tools. It's not the best on the market. I'm still in a search for what I will find as my best multi-tool. So and I'm not gonna borrow somebody else's. Thank you, hero to you. Thank you. Uh Jason and Beeble Bum and all the rest of you, I really appreciate it, but no. I'm going to find my own. So there's one of the keys. If you're going to do this on your own, you can either come here, or you can find your own high-security planet that's an extreme sentinel planet. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my inventory. I've got a few salvage glass in here. I'm going to throw this on my freighter to get rid of it. Um just so it's not there anymore. I'm going to put these in my freighter too while I'm at it. I don't really need them in my inventory as we speak. Let's get rid of the glass. I don't need to be feeding any creatures, and I have no idea why I still have that in my inventory. One thing I'm going to need is more ammo. I'm going to need more ferrite soon too. I've actually gone through a bunch of ferrite in my own inventory. Uh, 1500, that's about right. Okay, so that'll get us started. Um, that's not what I was trying to do. My apologies. I just need to move it. I'm going to move these down. As you can see, I've been doing searches for... ships. And I need to... keep all these out of the way. Okay. So that gives us a good amount of room in here to gather up resources. So we're going to do that. All right, I think we're just about ready. How's everything look up here? I don't think we need any help up there. The storms roll in and they get kind of hot, but uh, I should be pretty well protected, even though I do need more phosphorus at some point. I will get some more. See, I've only got 17 left, so I've got to find a planet that has it. I'm not even sure if this planet has it. Uh, let's see. Nope. So, I will have to look for a planet sooner or later. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's exit. As you can see, this is the basis I'm talking about, the ancient structures. Um, we are not quite five minutes into the video. We're about four minutes in. We will be using our infamous pulse spitter. Okay, we are recharged. I'm just going to grab... Oh, there's one down there I could probably have grabbed. I didn't think about that. I'm not even sure if I can get to it. This is the one that's underground that's kind of hard to get to. Oh, of course. Is there any... I think I took the one that was up here last time. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to find a gravitino ball to attract their attention. There is one right down here. Yeah, that looks good. Let me see, where are we here? It's underneath the structure, that's where this one is. Okay.
We're just going to fill this back in real quick. Make it a little easier to deal with, that's all. Back to the pulse spitter. Alright, I know there's a few floating around over here, so it's just... Never mind, I don't have to. Hey, buddy. Okay, let me pull back just a little bit. Now, just as a heads up, you'll notice that there's one call-in unit. And I've been noticing lately that they may have changed the Sentinels a little bit, that they don't have any call-in units. Oh, i got to go back around. I keep doing that. Pull spitter. They only have one call-in units on the... What is this? This is level one. So, we're just going to take him out. Take him out. Yeah, I don't like you either. Okay. So we're literally at the just under the six minute mark. So we have to get to, I think it's level five, believe it or not, in order to get at least two call in units. As you can see, yep, we've only got one call in unit, so we need to go a little further. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, all of them are gone. We should get a. A walking unit here any second, the quad. Come on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That'll be level three. We'll just give it some time. I always like to look in one direction so I know where they're coming from. Same. So, as you can see, again, one call in unit. <clears throat> uh, good example. Sorry, early morning here tends to make my voice a little bit scratchy. See, there is a second call in unit, but he doesn't appear until you take out the first one. So, I want the level 5 dude. Okay, so we're done with those guys. And again, you notice we're in the middle of a storm. You see temperatures getting up well over 200 degrees. Maybe getting about 300. There we go. Now you're annoying. Really? Okay. I'm going to gather up a few of those because... Again, let's see, we have one call-in unit again, right? See what I mean? Ah, we have two now. Nope, still one. So, we can take out as many as we want, but we're still only going to get one call-in unit. So, we have to go to level five. I think that should do it. Yep, there's number five. So I gotta repair that real quick. Let's see. There you are. Okay. Let me get my shield back up. You notice there's two calling units now. So level five pulls in two calling units. It doesn't pull in the walker until you get rid of your two calling units. They'll pull him in. See what I mean? They pull in all the extras. I just don't feel like having him at my side. Try to stay away from the health units. And you see, they're just pulling these guys in like crazy. And here's where it gets just lots and lots of craziness going on. Just go a little further out here and draw them in. Okay, so we're in the thick of it now. We are at the nine and a half minute mark. Try to not destroy your calling units. It's kind of hard to keep your shots away from them. Uh, let's see. I think we got everybody right in front of me, right? And, you know, 
You can pick these up once in a while if you feel like getting your shields back up to normal, by all means. And just keep moving. They have a hard time tracking you. But you also have to keep moving to keep them from stepping in front of the call-in units. See? And they will be constantly pulling these guys in. And these are the guys that drop the glass. Or at least the... Hitting too many buttons at the same time. Oh, that was a nice shot. Good on you, my friend. So in case you're wondering, I'm doing about... 30,000 damage with just the Pulse Spitter at this point. I'm not using a Scatter Blaster. It tends to get too loud for the recordings and stuff, too. Oop. Oh, almost hit that guy. Where are we? Here we go. And I love the reload rate on this, although the Bolt Caster has a faster reload rate if you can get the right upgrades for it. So... So we're going to go do this for about... I'd like to go about 20 minutes. Keeping in mind that it was a slow go at the start, okay? So we're going to see how well we do after 20 minutes. And you notice we haven't gotten anybody else. We're at level 5. They haven't dropped any other walkers. Except for the, you know, the, the medium-sized one. I got. I got the paralysis mortar online. Now let's switch over. Oh, I got a ship landing nearby. That's hilarious. We're going to go to combat scope so that I can focus and keep steady. We could be doing a little better. You notice they're barely hitting me at this point. Because now I'm really more focused on the actual shooting. It's really not as difficult as it seems. As long as you can keep moving and you know how to strafe a little bit. Oh, for crying out loud. That's embarrassing. I'm sorry. Where are the other guys? There they are. Just came back in. By the time they start hit, actually hitting you, a lot of times your shields are already starting to reform. Who's behind me? Oh, you're there. Hi there. Sometimes you can get a third call in unit. I just like to move around a lot. So you see we're getting quite a collection over here. And you really do need a break. Make sure you have a structure made. Like I do behind me. Because the, the response time, pardon me, the, um, the relax time, if you will, where they're searching for you, tends to go a lot longer in the longer sessions like this. But I had him. Back him. Nobody behind me again. So we're keeping everybody pretty much generalized this area here. That's pretty good. They tend to go pretty high up sometimes, these call-in units. I don't know why. Oh, hello. Yeah, there we go. Breathe. Okay, move. And you notice my shields have recharged on their own because I've kept out of the arm's way for a little bit. So it's really not as difficult as you might think. Feel free to get rid of your shields if you wish. Ah, I'm going towards daytime now. And you notice my ammo's cut in half by now. I'm at 7,000 ammo already. And we are only 15 minutes into this. So again, I'm going to go about 20 minutes. And then we're going to call it. Oops. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's all right. Even at the 15. What should happen is I should get... 
Somebody dropping in soon. No? Let's take out a couple of these guys. Let's see what happens. Because if we can get the... It's a backup, if you will. If you can get them to drop the... Our two-legged walker. There we go. As I said. Oh, look. They get another calling unit, as you can see, coming towards us. Very nice, huh? That's okay. We'll take them out in a second. All right. And if you want to know how long it's going to take. Ow. Jerk. One leg. Two legs. Reload. And done. See? Not as hard, hairy as I thought. I remember the first time I met one of those, I ran like a dickens. I didn't even know they existed. I hadn't seen any videos including them, and I thought, oh, what do you know, this is just a factory area. I can just take out some sentinels and get some extra stuff. Oh, wow, they're really uh, stacking up for me here, huh? Okay, so see, that's how you can get them to call in another call-in unit. But now you got to be careful, because this is it. So even though you took out the two-legged sentinel, they may... They'll still go, because you still have attack units on the ground. I need to recharge my shields. Because I had to not pay attention for a little bit while I took out the two-legged walker. There we go. Wow, okay, they're pulling a lot more units than I thought. Do I have a third calling unit in here? I think I just see two. Let's get over here. Take a look closer, we'll look from a further away here. No, it looks like we just have the two calling units. Alright, we are getting closing in on the 20 minute mark rather quickly now. That's 17 and a half. Since I started the video, I want you to know that, too. That's true. Um, we started the attack about five minutes in. So we haven't really gone 20 minutes into this. What do you know? My shield got damaged again, jerk. That could still happen even in normal mode, folks. Really being nasty at this point. This seems to be the best uh, run at this point. Let's go ahead and see if we can repair. There you are. Okay. Lots of storms on this planet. Just to give you an idea of what the storms are like. If you go up here, you're inside the storm radius. And that also gives you a little bird's eye view of how bad it's going up here. See? Like literally stepped in front of his attack unit. See? And I'm damaged again. That's okay. Oh, we don't fix it until later. I should be alright. Let's see what we got. i take a look around because I spread them out a little bit long, further than I wanted to. But we need to get to the 24 minute mark. We're at 19. Now it's getting a little bit crazier because they're behind me. Eh, I got a geode. <laughs> try to stay with the healing units, like I said, because that will give you the ability to have them only call in these attack units, which are the ones that drop what you need. Because we've taken out the walker already, it'll make it easier for us to uh, 
end this battle. Okay. Back the other way. Back and forth. King Luaji, I don't know about you. These already called in some units, yes. The one behind me is calling in some units. Okay. Alright, I think we finally caught up to them. Where are we? We are at 20 minutes, 43 seconds of the entire recording. Again, we gotta go about 4 minutes in get the full 20 minutes of the battle. And that's from the very beginning, not from the one we had two call-in units. Oh, hi there. A little bit of a close encounter. So only at 1,000 thousand ammo. I was about to say, you should have called somebody in. There they are. Hi, buddy. Yeah, this, they're right, man. This thing really does eat ammunition. 865. We might make it the full 20 minutes. I will have to remember this. I should have two more attack units behind me, but I don't see them. Hold on a second here. Something's missing. There he is. Where have you been? You're supposed to be doing your job, man. Oh, took out a healthy unit. There we go. Finally. I guess he needed a break himself. 447. Are we going to make it to the full 20? I mean, I got a geology cannon I can pull in, but... Okay, where are we at here? So this is not a very exciting... I'm not running around and making a dramatic experience of this. I'm trying to make it as casual as possible. Keeping calm. Which I think is kind of funny at the same time. I am out of ammunition. <laughs> uh, where's my ammo? There we go. Had to make some more ammunition to finish this out. Uh, hi there. Don't go launching your grenades at me, my friend. Come on, man. We're almost done here. Two more minutes. Hit that. Should have probably just got a timer going on the screen. It might have been easier. I haven't been using it as much lately, except when I'm doing speed runs on expeditions. Keep forgetting I have that thing. Back the other way. There we go. How are we doing? We are at 23 and a half. We will stop in 30 seconds. Back the other way. Ah. Yay. We are at... 24 minutes. Let's take these guys out. Bye. So we're just going to multiply by 3, of course. Where are the other two? That should be it. Give me the alert. There we go. Network disabled. 20 minutes in. Let's step up real quick. And we'll do a screenshot and pull back. See how, how we did. As you can see, quite the mess we made. So I'm going to now go ahead and pick up all this. And then we'll come back to the recording here in just a second. And to do that, I'm going to use the hijack laser. That's why. Fix him up a lot quicker. All right. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. 
Okay, and we're back. So we've cleaned up the mess around here, uh, including getting the walker brain while I was at it. Um, one thing you want to look for in these is you can look for like little blue gears on occasion, and it will tell you that those are combat supplies. So a lot of times you can't see them because they got dropped into a hole like this one did. Okay. It should have gave me possibly one more glass. This time it gave you ammunition. Okay, yeah, it didn't give me any glass that time. But this is the first time I've run into where it gave me an even 10 across the board on every single one of these stacks. So that was pretty cool. So this is what we ended up with. Now, with my freighter in the system, it's a possibility that some of the stuff I pull out of here is going to go up into the freighter, and I'm trying to hopefully prevent that. Um, my freighter shouldn't even be in the system. So we're going to see what happens here. So what should happen is I open these up. Okay, Magno Gold, which probably went into the freighter. What we're looking for is... Yeah, got two. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And that. So these are what we're looking for. So someone mentioned whether glass was not dropping as quickly or as often. Good. Everything else is going into my freighter inventory. Isn't that wonderful? Most everything. I got so many of these, it's ridiculous now. But we're just going to keep gathering this stuff up. I love when it has this pop up onto the screen, but it is what it is. So let's get, get these taken care of real quick. And you notice I gathered up over well over a stack of pugnium. Okay, this is what we ended up with. Okay, so here's everything that we ended up with. To get a rough idea, uh, what we're going to do is just go up to the space station so you can see the full amount that we're actually getting out of this. Okay, so we got 28 of these. So 5, 10, not quite 15. 5, 10, again, not quite 15. So we ended up with... Uh, let me see, probably in the neighborhood of about twenty-five to 27,000. So that's not bad. On the other run that I did, I actually ended up with 30,000 in like about 15 minutes. So still, I'm hitting at least 75,000, maybe a little bit more um, on these runs. So that's not bad. That's not bad. And if you do it yourself, um, there's a possibility you'll get a better run out of it than I did out of it. So we're still looking at about seventy-five to 80,000. Yeah, let's let it count it all up, right? Because you get a whole bunch of maps, you're going to get a whole bunch of other things. Got some antimatter out of it. That's great. Whole stack of them. Okay, it finally stopped. Yeah, great. So that all went into my freighter. Um, thank you, freighter, for gathering up everything. So we'll just take this up to the space station. Doo -doo -doo. It should say current galaxy. Current system, there you go. It should only take a moment. That was weird imagery. And we just need to go over to the other side to sell it. And that's my new favorite ship, just so you know. It just looks like some kind of an insect that I'm flying around. It's pretty cool. And we'll hit this guy up. And we'll get full amounts out of him. Purchase, sell. Don't worry about those. So the weapon shards, we've got 13,455 and 13,117. So 26,500, give or take. Not to mention all the nanites you picked up along the way. And I didn't get an accurate count at the very beginning. So still at uh, 265 over the course of 20 minutes, you know, that is 77, 78,000 in an hour that you can gather up. So there are other ways to do it. As the as Jason's pointed out and several others, you can go to the corrupted planets, gather up some of the resources there, such as this wonderful stuff. Not the radiant shards, pardon me. Or the crystallized hearts. There we go. Uh, the Atlantidium. You can pick up a whole bunch of this and you can put it into your... I gotta get this out of here. Should have done it the other way. Atlanta DMC. If I put that in here, I can turn it into Pugnium. Okay. And then with the Pugnium, 
Let's grab a stack of that. I can turn it into nanite clusters. So I get 400 more nanites out of that. Kind of an interesting way to go if you feel like doing that. That's up to you. That ship's landing on my head. Got to be careful. So an interesting way to go. I've got an extra couple hundred nanites out of it. So with the you know thousand plus that I've gotten out of it, I could have gotten maybe another 500 nanites out of that. So that's pretty good. And if the Atlantidium, all you have to do is uh, strafe the planet with your ship, um, and you will pull up tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of that Atlantidium. So that's actually a pretty quick and very easy way without having to be attacked by anything. So if you're looking for a simpler way to do it, that would be the way to go. But if you like to, uh, you know, like to do some fighting with some sentinels, and you just feel like having a little fun with your pulse spitter or your scatter blaster or something like that, hey, have some fun with that. So I'm going to sign off on this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up or like button at the bottom of the screen. Also hit that subscribe. By all means, feel free to leave comments. I'd love to respond to comments and to uh, give any advice or answer questions. Or if you give me an idea, that's great too. I'll do a video on that. All right, guys. Nice to talk. Nice uh, making this video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.